I'm Richard Baker. I'm the founder and chief exec officer of Tokenovate. Tokenovate is a financial technology company and we're based in the UK, so we're headquartered in London and a team based out of Cambridge, north of London. We're focused on the world of traditional financial services and specifically in that market how derivatives are traded and we're bringing those derivatives onto the Bitcoin Satoshi Vision Network. So when you think about uh, building uh, new applications, it's really important to think about the use cases and the demand side of those use cases. So when I set about to design and build Tokenovate, I had some insight from my previous role in building an exchange. I knew the kind of volumes that my order books dealt with previously. And so, you know, the shape of the infrastructure that needed to be behind Tokenovate ultimately had to be highly scalable. Uh, it needed to be affordable. Um, it's unrealistic to think about building a smart contract trading platform or a life cycle engine that if every event in processing it cost me, you know, $1.50, $2 more, ultimately uh, that isn't a proposition that I can take into the traditional finance market. It would be too cost prohibitive to run on a digital ledger technology with high transaction fees and low throughput. So the Bitcoin Satoshi Vision Network is bringing scalability, it brings affordability, but what also attracted me strongly to working uh, on an ongoing basis with BSV is its programmability. The journey of the last 14 years for Bitcoin, everybody skips over the fact that this is a stable native protocol with 100 opcodes, and those opcodes are programmable by the Bitcoin script language. So I can treat it as a microcontroller computer and I can program functions to those opcodes. And actually when I'm building a derivative contract, that's really important. So there's a number of attributes that are unique to the BSV chain that just don't exist anywhere else. So it was, it was an easy choice in the end to say this has to be a BSV project. The opportunity that I saw with building Tokenovate is that actually derivatives are a Believe it or not, a quadrillion dollar market. They're global. Every country in the world uses a derivative financial instrument. What's a derivative? Well, it's often used as a financial risk management product. So if I've bought a price today, but I'm not having a good delivered until 30 days or 60 days or six months from now, I tend to use a derivative to manage the risk in the price change between now and the price in the future. And so these are often known as futures markets. So what are the products? Well, they're everything, actually. They, they all impact our daily lives. So things like fertilizer, grains, interest rates, fixed income, more recently, digital assets. So everything we can think about in society has probably got some kind of futures contract and derivative contract wrapped around it to try and help the buyers and the sellers manage risk in the market. So it's truly global, uh, which makes it a really exciting venture to build. I guess as a serial entrepreneur, I've learned the, the hard way that don't go too big too soon. Uh, it's really important to get your product market fit and you have to do that through baby steps of building minimal viable product. We started really with uh, looking at uh, w where is the standards in this industry uh, developed and this industry is actually quite unique versus others in the fact that there is a global standards body called ISDA and that stands for the International Swaps and Derivatives Association and they sit really as a standards body underneath the global regulators. They help the gro global regulators regulate financial markets. So we've become a member of ISDA and we collaborate with ISDA and they have written a master agreement actually that most counterparties, most buyers and sellers use around the world to trade all kinds of financial instruments. We've caught this as a really exciting time because ISDA has recognized that their master contract, which has been in existence since the early 80s, needed to be digitized. So they've created a digital library and they've begun the process of allowing digital negotiation to happen. And that negotiation now outputs in code. And so Tokenovate is taking that code and translating that into a, a platform, which is fundamentally a rules engine 
and that rules engine acts as a modern day execution platform bringing the expectations and the obligations of the contract and executing them as smart contracts and writing those events to the Bitcoin blockchain. We're starting with minimal viable product on one standard and the opportunity that came to us first is in the asset class known as voluntary carbon credits and this is in the carbon emissions market. We as good citizens of the planet have to embrace the journey to net zero and help the planet decarbonize. These financial instruments help uh, effectively put finance into carbon projects to help the planet reach net zero. So that's our starting point. The world of being an exchange or being a broker uh, or being a custody provider or a clearinghouse, these are regulated activities. And the G20 regulators have harmonized a lot of rules uh, for commodity asset classes and indeed kind of securities assets. Underneath that layer is the world of financial technology providers. So it might be a company building a trading system or a broker system or a central limit order book solution for an exchange to run. That mediation layer, that enabling layer is not regulated. It, there's a little nuance to that though that you have to manage, which is inside global regulation are specifications that technology companies must meet in order to help those regulated actors meet their compliance rules and go on to report to regulators. And I'm a big believer in self-regulation and taking responsibility for the market you're running and being a safe actor. And then the oversight that comes from the main regulators effectively makes that market safe and transparent. I think it has to be a bit of a hybrid between top-down rule setting and regulation and ownership within the market itself. So for, as Token Evade designs and builds its system, we will help those self-regulated entities meet, meet their obligations to report and be good actors. Token Evade announced uh, a first set of trades in the voluntary carbon market, and lots of language was in the press release, so I'll take it apart. Um, I think firstly, actually, if I may, Audience, it's really worth knowing that in the United Kingdom at the moment, there is running through the House of Lords a new bill, and that bill is the Digital Trading Act. And believe it or not, 80% of the world's trade happens subject to contract law, and the origins of that contract law are British law, UK law. And the Digital Trade Act that's going through enshrines actually the definition of a smart legal contract into that bill. And we will see that now become law under the Law Commission in the UK and begin its process of becoming shared around the world. So a smart contract is, has got a digital definition today, but it's about to have a legal definition. And this is a really huge step for the way we think about digital ledger technology, blockchain technology being adopted for contracting purposes. So we refer to that smart legal contract because when we execute the trade that is a voluntary carbon credit. It is subject to the definition rules of the ISDA standards. Uh, it was executed on a regulated futures market on an exchange venue and was executed in its trade life cycle on the token of a platform through smart contracts. And all of that is subject to the rules of that financial regulation and those standards. And so this is a world first in the fact that using the Bitcoin protocol and Bitcoin script to do that was really exciting. And to do it in such a conformant way is truly exciting as we try and build into this traditional finance market and help modernize infrastructure. So really amazing achievement.